on, gang. Hustle. Let's go. Stack your helmets neatly. Remember about those uniforms, cleaned and washed by tomorrow and looking like a football team. Hey, Clark, let's have all those clothes washed Hustle. and ready for tomorrow's game, yes, okay? Got to be no very high. I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, fu get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? So here I am in Blackie, Alberta. I'm finally doing the filming locations for one of my favorite films as a kid. I love this movie. I watched this movie over and over on VHS with my father, my mother, my sister. The whole family loves this movie. I think everybody loves the original Superman, Richard Donner, Christopher Reeve. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm standing in front of the Kent farm. I'm actually a little like <laughs> taking aback. I can't believe it's right here in front of me. It looks the exact same. If you look behind me, those are the Rocky Mountains, really far off in the distance. I don't know if you can see. Let me show you. You can see the whole range going all the way down southern Alberta there, which is crazy. I'm so like, I didn't. I, I mean. The Rocky Mountains are huge, and they're, they're, they're far north, and they're far south. I just didn't expect to see them all the way down throughout all of Alberta. I don't know why I didn't expect that. I should have. I should have known that. That's something I should have known, but I just didn't. But here, right here, there it is. Now, that's the barn. Now, we're going to show you what I can show you. It is private property. It doesn't look like anybody's home. But this, this is their driveway now over here, it looks like. There it is. There's the barn. Now, I can't show you. Well, I can't show you. I'm going to show you from different angles. But it's hard to tell because this is their driveway here. And this would have been the driveway they used in the movie because in the movie, they, go, they show them. Well, Clark comes from here. And then there's this driveway right here, which is so overgrown. And somebody in town told me that they, uh, that people still live here. It doesn't look like it to me that there, I mean, there's an old truck parked up there, but it looks like the driveway's now over there. So right up that driveway is the driveway they actually used in the film. And you see the private property, no trespassing sign. And I tried to make myself known that I was here. So maybe they'd come out, you know, a lot of, uh, well, just a couple of double clicks of the honking of the, the alarm on the car. I think you maybe didn't notice. But no. But yeah, this is the driveway right here. This is crazy. Now we'll walk down here and I can show you a couple of different angles of the house. Yeah, this is really, um, it's about, I guess about an hour south of Calgary. I'm not exactly too sure driving around for days I'm getting confused but yeah, I was driving I was coming towards this way and I could see the house so here's a good view of the oh yeah here's a good view of the house there well top of the house right up there it's certainly been around for a long time it's weather beaten so is that barn but you can see I'm going to show you close up the barn does look the same from the movie. The same thing on top. The little, um, I guess the vent on top. And the same, um, well, they're not really windows. But they would be windows. I'm not a barn expert. But yeah, it's right there. There's the house there. So plenty of things were filmed right here on this property. But this was not here, obviously. This overgrown forest. I believe this is probably planted here for the very reason of what I'm doing. A lot of people come out here. This is a bit of a tourist attraction in the area, I was told. 
And, uh, but I've been told the people that live here are very nice, but you know, this, I guess it's for privacy's sake, but it's very, very overgrown. It doesn't look like anybody, uh, I, I'm not sure if anybody lives here. I'll show you a few different angles. So there's that overgrown driveway again. Mr. Kent would have collapsed right at the top of it. Let's see if you can see through. Right just where you see the clearing at the end. That's the top of the driveway between the barn and the house. And that's where he collapsed. But over here. The great angle of the barn and the house. From this angle here. So there's that old truck there on the property. It looks rusted out. So it's really hard to tell what's going on here. The house does look uh, a little more uh, weatherproof. It looks like it's been a little more modernized. I'll go in on it. So if you see, it does look like it's been redone. The outside. Yeah. Of course, Clark goes in the barn. You know what happens there. Really, really cool. It is so insanely quiet out here. And thankfully, no wind today at all out on these Alberta plains. Wow, beautiful day. Unseasonably warm too, I've been told. My first time ever in Alberta. And it's unbelievable how much has been filmed here. I've lost count, but Superman was first on my list. Yeah, look at that barn. So I've been told, wow, it's really bright, that they filmed you know, sunburn just from being outside in the sun this morning. Um, all those shots of Superman as a baby when he crashes onto planet Earth, the Kents find him, bring him home. I was told it was shot right up and down this road. Now, nothing looks familiar. There's this fence behind me. That's not in the film, but that's, of course, going to be new. But I was told by a huge Superman fan in town that it was shot along this very road. And nothing looks familiar. Like, it's hard to pinpoint. I mean, it's just fields on either side. Nothing looks familiar. So I'll take a couple of shots, but I'm not going to be able to pinpoint the exact spot. And, um, yeah, but I'm going to take you now to a really exact spot from Superman. Like, exact. And I've been really looking forward to seeing this one. Um, when it comes to filming locations, I do a lot. And I love them. And my favorite is uh, to watch is Herv Atia. Herve Atia. Uh, he's so, oh God, the guy is just the master of it. So I'm going to shout out to him because I know he did this before because his is, he's, I've watched his before, but I want to come out, see them from myself, take you, but yeah, you should check out his sometime, but watch mine, all my first, then his, but he's really good. He's like the best in the, he's the best at it. All right, let's go somewhere else from Superman. May the force be, that's not his tagline. What's his catchphrase? Superman, do you have a catchphrase? Yo, I'm Superman. No, that's not. Oh, get real. I'm super. Did I do that? No, I don't know. What, what was Superman's? Hey, F you. I'm Superman. Yeah, that sounds about right. No. I'm Superman. Yeah, that was it. That was it. I'm Superman. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's go somewhere else from Superman. So they all look the same on either side. The fields, it's very, really hard to tell. But on that side, you can definitely see the mountains in the background. It's all about angles, right? And there's also this side. As you can see, it's just constantly like this on either side, but probably shot that way. So no mountains in the background at all. It's very difficult to tell. So here I am at one of the most iconic locations I've ever wanted to go to. This is Superman's high school. This is where he's talking to Lana right here in front of me. And the other guy, mean, doesn't want Clark to come along with them. So Clark kicks a football out of anger. And it goes really far because Clark Kent is actually Superman. True story. 
but this is actually a low German Mennonite school right here. And um, the principal is really nice, I, you know, because the kids are out now. So I, I went and talked to them first. I said, look, I, I'm going to be filming some stuff up front. And the principal, Principal Charlene, was so nice. She said, oh, go ahead. Yep, she was telling me about, uh, about the school and the kids and how sweet they are. And so, yeah, the kids are out, but I'm allowed to film. Always, if you're filming at a school, you always got to be careful, like, what time you go and stuff like that. But the principal said, yeah, 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 if you, you know. Superman is the claim to fame for this school. A lot of people come just to see it. I'm really excited to be here. So let's show you some of these scenes right here. It still looks the exact same. Crazy. 42, 42 years? Probably 43 years since they filmed it? Yeah, right here. Oh, uh, so right there, yeah. It's called the Barron's School in Barron's, Alberta. All those scenes with Clark were taking in Atlanta right here in front of me. Where he's cleaning up the football gear. Then he finds more gear that he has to put away. Womp womp. Right here. Oh, actually, that's the principal right there on the uh, sidewalk, right uh, down the end there. Principal Charlene, she's really sweet. And uh, yeah, this is the school right here. So I'm right about this angle. So they found them all right here. You get some reverse shots going that way. Great things are happening here. He kicks the football and goes right towards that building. That's still standing. Really cool. Right there. It's a lot quieter than with the, without all the screaming kids. Imagine that. So he would have. This is the field right here. This is the former football field. Which is now a baseball diamond right here. But he kicks the football right about where, let's see, right about from here. It goes towards that building. So it's actually right about here where he kicks the football. It was all the way past that building. There used to be a couple of other ones, but they're no longer standing. Elton John could not sing a song about that, about the other two. He could sing a song about that one, but not the other two. Nope. See the tree line way off in the distance there, I'll show you. So there's no leaves on any of those trees right now. But yeah, he kicks the football right towards that. So I'm guessing he actually would have been a little further back. Somewhere maybe about there. There's a tree line still. It's a large field that goes all the way across. Well, she was explaining to me that it was the baseball diamond was a former football field. And the football field is now over here. Look, he kicks the football right around here towards that. Superman could have made a lot more money with all of his skills. He could have been doing a lot. Like he could have been a star kicker, receiver, quarterback, or the best hockey player if he knew how to skate. Can Superman skate? I don't know. He, if, I mean, he was raised in Canada, technically, in the movie. So, of course he's gonna learn how to skate. Can Superman just do anything? That's a good question. Can he just do any, is he just good at everything immediately? Or is he just super, he's super at everything? Would, if you put a pair of skates on him, could he just skate automatically? Anybody can run. Not everybody can run fast. Nobody can fly, that I know of. Um, yeah, but could he skate? If you put a pair of skates on super, there it is. That's the question I want answered. If you put a pair of skates on Superman, would he automatically be the best skater ever? I don't know. I could teach him to skate. It's not hard. It's like you're on. It's, just, it's like you're on roller roller blades or roller skates. Just you have giant blades on your feet. All right, let's go.
scenes of Superman running were right there. Right along the train tracks right here. The train would have been coming towards us this way. There's a few intersections here in the uh, Barrens, Alberta, that look like it could be the one. This is the one because you could tell by the road behind me that that's the road they used. Now, if they had shot this way, you can just see the Rocky Mountains in the background. They're really far back there. But they had to shoot that way. It looks the exact same. But I'll show you this train track right here. Clark runs right up along here because he's a fast runner. Did you know? I didn't realize this until, I mean, I must have realized it when I was a kid, but I just realized it again, that that's the little lowest lane on the train. I, I just caught that the other day when I rewatched the movie. I mean, I've seen a lot, but not for a long time. Shut up, truck. Shut it. Shut it down. They, they're, that's little Lois. Probably everybody knows that except me. I just didn't realize it until I just watched it again. I was like, oh, they call her Lois and she has investigative skills or likes to write or read or has an imagination, whatever the hell they say. And it's Lois Lane on the, on the train. Just we Lois. All right, right here. It's right along here. Superman, he looks funny. Those legs look funny. That was some weird stuff they did there. Right here. This is where he jumped. Right in front of the train, just missing it. But of course, he's Superman, so... Anyway, the train was coming that way. Just make out the curve of the road, the curve of the tracks, I should say. Oh, yeah. That way, further off in the distance. And here's where Clark jumps. He looks at a very, very odd standing woohoo. And he goes off that way. Straight ahead. What the hell is that on the road? Let's go take a look. Yeah. Weird shadow. It's just a piece of wood. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Hold on. Piece of wood. Wasn't that his nickname? The Man of Wood? No, that would have been a totally different. No, he's Man of Steel. If he was Man of Wood, it would have been a completely different type of movie. Bound, bound. I want to see the train tracks at the scene. There's a specific uh, joint uh, connector that you see that you do a close up of. But no, I don't see it. And off in the distance, you can see that red and white building there. That's where he kicked my football to. The school's just right there. More wood. Look at all this wood. What are they doing here? See it? All those things I can do. All those powers. And I couldn't even save him. Easily one of the most difficult locations I've ever had to get to. Oh God, I just ran up a big hill because they didn't want to bring my little two wheel drive car up here. This is where the cemetery scenes were. Give me a second. Okay, where the cemetery scenes were filmed, right here in Superman. I'm gonna end the video here. You can see this mountain range. This is a little tiny town called Benyon. It's like three houses. You see in the background, it's more from this angle over here. Clark and his and Mrs. Kent were standing right about here and they made the cemetery it's a fake cemetery but it's right here and there's a couple of buildings you see down there in the film and apparently one of them has been moved over here and I think I just passed it oh god this is not easy to get to at all but I'm happy ba, 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 ba. so the mountain range looks a little different but that's it it's the exact one behind them and then the center was this way, all up here. See all that in the background? Oh, wow. It's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful up here. Yeah. Pardon my finger, but it's exactly that one that you see behind uh, Clark and Mrs. Kent, right there. So it's not that one there, it's that one there. Right up on the hill, so they are a little more over here. Sorry, so windy. I race to get here just as the sun is going down. Yeah. This is the cemetery this way. 
And one of those buildings that you see far up in the distance apparently has been moved. A sea tower? I don't even know how the hell that got up here. How to get down now. Oh, good God. I really don't. Like, I don't know which way I came in. Okay. Well, this is Superman, 1978. Family locations. When I'm back uh, able to get into the States, after COVID is over and the board is open, I hope to do the New York locations too, because I love Superman. And I forgot my Superman shirt back home in Toronto. Oh, I must have come up this hill. I have no idea. Okay, look. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, I'm down there. Peace out. May the force be with you, whatever the hell Superman is saying.